Hi guys. We are at Cowfish. For those of you playing along at home, we're gonna look at the menu, figure out what we're gonna eat. We had a two o'clock reservation. We tried to come in early and we sat here till 210. Oh well. But we are inside because it is still really, really hot out there and humid. And we are gonna figure out our food. We tried to modify a bunch of things in the menu and unfortunately a lot of the things are in the non-safe fryer. So there's just stuff we can't do. We were hoping to see what we could do with the fish sticks. Um, so you ended up getting the fish sticks in the bento box? Yeah. So you got a, the, the fusion specialty bento box and the fish sticks unmodified up because I'm not having them with him. So I'm getting the bacon parmesan, the bacon truffle fries, which are gluten-free because they put them in the gluten-free fryer. And I uh, got the dynamic duo burger in a lettuce wrap rather than the bun. Because I mean, I could get the bun, but the bun falls apart like crazy. So why? This is funny. The fish sticks are not like breaded fried fish. They're raw fish on top of breaded and fried sushi. Pictures go right here. So the, uh, the rice cake fried. Yeah. The sushi rice is fried. The sushi rice is fried. The white fish on top. Mm -hmm. And then a jalapeno with the ponzu sauce. Yep. So, let's give it a try. The, the eel sauce. But you know, the white fish is very fresh, but it doesn't have too much flavor. Right. And you know, the rice cake is just rice. Okay, so it's very mild. So, well, there is soy sauce here too. If you want to use soy sauce, add a little more to it. I do like it. Okay, so I have gotten the bacon truffle french fries. It's an appetizer that is gluten free. The picture goes right here. And uh, they have cheese. It's cheesier than I thought it was going to be. It's like got a creamy cheese sauce as well as the parmesan on the bacon. Salted the way you would expect, not overly salty. Kind of fun. Yeah. Very different than the types of food we were eating earlier. But fun, tasty. So, entrees have arrived. I've got some beautifully roasted veggies and a very unusual burger with a piece of uh, garden sushi on top, I believe. And I'm gonna take the sushi off. I'll figure out how to eat it in a minute. Oh my god, okay. Hold on. I think that's garlic. I think that's garlic too. Oh my god, garlic and, and, and pork. And or uh, wow, oh my god, okay, oh my god, <laughs> I probably should have put this on a bun. Oh my god, <laughs> would you, would you grab that and put the would you grab that's the liquid coming out of there? The burger looks amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, all right, set that sucker down. Oh my god, I'm afraid to put it back down once I've done this. <laughs>
got some edamame on the side. Uh, I'm not that big a fan of edamame, but let's try it out. Yeah, they sprinkled salt all over it, which is interesting. Still not really my fave. Try it though, right? I landed in my dipping sauce over here. It's better if you don't eat the pod and just like pop the peas out, I think. Yeah, it's much better that way. We got some sweet potato fries with it, which is a nice change of pace from the regular fries. Those are indeed sweet potato fries, and that is about all I can say about that. <laughs> okay. Have the Fiesta Resistance. Uh, this Fenta box uh, comes with a roll of your choice. I went for the Firecracker roll, which is uh, shrimp tempura, uh, some imitation crab, and a bunch of caviar and tasty stuff. So let's try that out. Not gluten free, but I'm sure it's good. said, oh, I didn't have a bun. That would be sad because I'm going to miss, you know, all the flavor. And then I went, oh, God, look at everything that poured out of this. It's starting to get cold, so it's starting to thicken. That's all the fat that would have been in the bun that I would have been eating. I'm very grateful that I did uh, not eat the bun. Anymore. Anymore. The cabbie? Yeah. Would you like to share that? I would like to share that for dessert. Sure. So they have a special, was it a matcha creme brulee? Uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass creme brulee that has green matcha sugar on it. Um, it can be made gluten-free, so we're going to try it for dessert. Um, Apparently it's the chef's specialty, and yeah, the chef always likes making it himself. Yeah, he created this seven years ago when they, and then they opened. He was the original chef, and he supposedly makes him very happy when people order it. So there you go. So, favorite part of your meal so far? Hmm. I think, honestly, the pickled cucumbers are the best part of the meal. I love, yeah, which means some, but ironically, that's probably the one that they like really made between that and sushi. So truth be told, that says a lot. I like the burger, I like the sushi, but... Yeah, I don't know anything compared to the Peking duck and that, that oh my god, that all of it, the ragu and... But this will be a much less expensive <laughs> Oh my. Alright, so we're going to finish up our odds and ends here, oh, and uh, we'll see you back in the front of the Exactly, he's getting good at this. Picking up on it. Okay, 
Okay, we have the lemongrass creme brulee. Ta da! And you should go right here. Okay. Ooh, I see that piece of here. It's got a nice crunch. You see that crackle on there? That actually tastes so good for me. Thank you. The lemongrass flavor is very mild. Um, okay. But it feels, for lack of a better word, it feels fresher than your average creme brulee. Oh, good. That's nice My turn to try it. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a nice solid sugar break there. The deep yellow on top with the sugar melted in. Kind of focusing now. Yeah, so try it again. It still went to my face. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a light sweetness, but it's not like so sugary and it's not so dense a custard. Yeah. I think that's the matcha. Yeah, it is. It's the matcha. There's a green powdered matcha on the top and the burn and the sugar. It is. There's a little bit of. So this is like the more burnt side of it. Yeah, this is nice. I'm glad we're splitting it. Pretty much. Yeah. It works. It's really nice. You like it? Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of flavor to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like we were talking about the bitterness of the matcha yeah. and the burn and the sugar. It's also not as dense a custard yeah. as yeah. most of them. It's really like it's almost. Uh, it's like a lighter dessert almost. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, I I enjoy it. I'm not even a big creme brulee fan. And when he made it, I was like, dude, like this is like really good. Yeah. Like lemongrass is like weird. It's a weird, uh, you know, weird way to make creme brulee, but it works. It really does. Yeah. Well, guys, that was an awesome meal. If this video has helped you figure out uh, what kind of foods you're looking for when you're eating gluten-free or otherwise here at Universal City Walk or at Universal at the Parks. Uh, if we uh, shared information, if you want to find out more about the kind of things, I'll be coming back to the parks to Disney next time and I'll have more information to share with you. Please feel free to like this video by hitting the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to know more and let us know well, where you'd like me to visit next, what food you want me to try next and I'd be happy to do that for you. And um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?